the way we get it here. Yeah. Can you click on the teams here? No, you can't. No, we're all right. We're all right. We'll pull up. 216 men. Go. Go results. Just select the team. Alright, uh, uh, let's go. Yeah. And then, yep, that was it. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, I just did that one and now I've got to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just right over it. Yeah, Metro. right over it. Yep. Metro. Metro, and then... Um, stats. Let me do that for country as well. Stats. Competition. There you go. So they're the performance stats. So 53% okay. for Tolopi. Hello, Q. Yeah. 21. No one else has been shooting well, so he's obviously a shooter. Offensive rebound. Good. That's per game or something on average or something? That's average. That'll be average. Per game? No, that'll be average. Oh, per, per game, minute? yeah. Per game, 2.7. So your big offensive rebounder. Could be getting 4.5 or Steiner, right? 4, 4, is that 4.5? 4.5 for Steiner and then you got Colopia. Yeah. No, that's not Colopia. That's Sopopolis. Sopopolis. I think he's number 13. He's really Solopolis, big. yeah. And then you go to these guys. So 42%. Occupinti. Occupinti. Number 7. The beauty, the beauty of this is we can sort it. Yeah, Rantel. We can sort it. Yeah. What's Rantel? So Randall. Like? Randall. 38%. 38 yeah. percent. Put up 21 or 36. Yeah. So just tell me we can we yeah. can sort it. And we got live stats. So we got country, metro, yeah. Ocapinti. And then we got Solopolis. Tilopia. 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 Can you go back to the original homepage of the. Yeah, can I click on the team? No, I didn't overwrite something. Yeah, it did. So, what I need to do is. Open uh, a new link. Is a new tab. And a new tab. Now scroll down. It says so this will have, I think that's the tournament stats as well for the main guys, but also their last couple of games. Couple of wins, yeah. yeah. So, nice so, they beat Metro. Metro in the semi, New Zealand. They had two losses to start with. Yeah, and WM Metro, so they lost to them first by seven, then beat them yeah. by three. So that's good. Yeah. And Queensland North, they lost to They finished two third. Two were third. Third in the pool. Yeah. We, don't need the, we don't need the, the what's tournament, tournament stats because we've got them here. Is that all of them? Yeah. yeah. All their players? No, not all of them. That'd be their main players. Main yeah. players. Yeah. Okay, we'll just leave that one. On the... Yeah. We testing? We testing? Test, that works okay?
to the under-16 men's national final. I've got with me today Marcus Kluzman from the Centre of Excellence. Welcome, Marcus, and my name's Tom Kyle from Basketball Queensland. How are you, Marcus? I'm good, thanks, Tom. Great to be here. Back to Stadium and Killside. Uh, it's going to be a cracker game, an all-Victorian final today. Vic Metro versus Vic Country, and uh, no surprise with Vic Metro, they haven't lost a game in this tournament so far, but... A Vic Country, the surprise packets uh, coming through the semi-finals and uh, and beating uh, the very strong Western Australian Metro team after being some 14 or 15 points down with uh, only four or five minutes to play. Did you happen to get to see that game, Marcus? No, unfortunately, I didn't see it. I heard I heard about it. Um, we played against Vic Country and they've been fighting through this whole tournament. Play really hard, play with great effort, um, and that obviously paid off in that game. Yeah, they're, they're quite well structured. I saw them early in the tournament, even though they had a, a, a tough game against uh, North Queensland, I think beat them uh, uh, in a very, very tight one. But they're well structured and uh, they get up and in 
all about. So uh, I think we're in for a fairly aggressive campaign between the two Victorian teams today. Yeah, I look forward to it. Um, both teams are really well coached. Both Lucas and Rob have done a great job. Uh, you can tell they're well organised, uh, they play hard. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to a good hit out. Yeah, look, uh, I, I sat and watched the Vic Metro team uh, a bit and last night in the semi-final, uh, they just picked the team apart. They, uh, yeah, poor old North Queensland uh, came up a very, against a very, very well-structured inside-outside game where they covered the inside, they got beaten on the outside and when they got out to the perimeter to guard that three-point line, uh, they went back inside again and beat them on the board. So, uh, yeah, it should be a fairly physical encounter. I'm expecting that and... Uh, I'm expecting a good uh, pace game. That first eight seconds, I think, will be uh, will be critical to both teams. So we're just getting ready for the start now today, guys. Uh, about three minutes left in the game. What do you see as the keys to victory here today, Marcus? I think for big, big country, they'll have to um, keep Victoria Metro off the glass. They've got a um, clear size advantage. That's Vic Metro. Um, so they'll have to do a good job keeping them off the glass, keeping the ball out of the paint. Uh, that'll be the keys for big country defensively. Offensively, I think, they should, like you said, they need to push the ball, have pace, move the ball, attack with Metro with the dribble penetration, and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go with that. Big Metro, I think, just have to play to their strengths, get the ball inside, um, and stay in front of big country. So, pretty simple game plan. Now, Marcus, you're, uh, you're from the Centre of Excellence, but I believe you're moving on from the Centre of Excellence. You want to tell us a little bit about your new opportunity overseas? Yeah, uh, sure. It came a bit out of the blue. Um, I got a call from Germany from a former colleague of mine, uh, and he informed me about this, uh, this uh, job in Munich, Bavaria, and they're trying to set up a Centre of Excellence there. And um, I actually ran into him in Germany uh, recently when we were there for the Albert Schweitzer tournament with the Centre of Excellence. And um, so he called me, told me about this job, and they um, they offered it to me. So it uh, came a bit out of the blue. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision, because uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to miss Australian basketball. Look forward to the new challenge of running my own program. But uh, yeah, I'll hopefully uh, be able to instill some Australian basketball characteristics yeah. into their style of play, and really look forward to that. Um, but also learning a lot from the European style. And uh, yeah, look forward to it. Excellent, and obviously uh, the latest results coming out of the Under-17 World Championships with an 8th place and uh, with the boys and uh, a gold medal for the Sapphires and the girls. Uh, and a number of those athletes came out of the Centre of Excellence program. Uh, must indicate exactly what you're doing at the Centre of Excellence and how, uh, how productive it is to our basketball culture. Yeah, and not only the Centre of Excellence, but like, uh, obviously underpinning programs in the States do a great job giving the fundamentals and education required to um, perform at an elite level and then in the Centre of Excellence we obviously have a great environment where they just get to practice against each other on a daily basis, have an elite daily training environment and then uh, provide them with elite competition with international tours and, and Siebel obviously so um, that, I think the whole package uh, really helps, helps uh, the juniors perform at the world stage and, and produce boomers. Excellent. Which is what we're all about. Excellent. Well, we're just about ready for tip-off. And uh, for Vic Metro, we've got Capitello, Rocelli, Steiner, Topolupo, and Tupo... So I don't know how to Tupopolis. pronounce it. Tupopolis, yeah. that's the one. And for country, we've got Herbert, Pepper, Brook, Tyrrell, and Rantel. We're off and running. Metro have an early opportunity. It'll be interesting to see how the teams deal with... This big loud uh, crowd, um, obviously important game. Um, Metro off to an aggressive start. Let's see how country goes. Yeah, I think both teams probably in the big V competition should be used to this sort of tournament play. So I'd expect a, a lack of nerves from uh, either team. I think they'll be settled in quite nicely. So we see Vic Country making a drive to the ball. Can't make it. Pepper really aggressive to the boards there, just couldn't make it in the fumble, put it out of play. Country starting with a bit of disruption, trying to delay the shot clock. Rochi, I saw him the other day, he's a, he's a great little guard. I like what he does with the ball, he penetrates hard, dishes well, 
attacks the rim when required. So uh, I've got to keep a good eye on him. And you, you match him up with Steiner, who's just super aggressive on the boards. We should see a contest. It's nice play by Vic yes. Metro. First points of the game at 2-0 to Vic Metro. Other thing I like about Rochi is he's got some defensive intens intensity about him. Gets in the lanes, as you can see, tries to get the deflections. Kick ball off Metro, so it'll be country. 12 seconds on the shot. Run a rub off screen at the top. Foot goes up from Herbert, but a rebound from Rantel. He's picked up a few rebounds through the tournament. He goes to the glass and puts it up and in. Points the country. Two apiece. There we can see the pressure of country and how they've applied it. They did that against WA Metro the other night to claw their way back. They're an aggressive little unit and they're well structured in the press. Yeah, I think well structured is, is the right term. They're not pressing in a crazy frantic pace and causing turnovers. They're just um, sh obviously showing that zone press and that's slowing Vic Metro down and forcing them into decisions they're not used to. Randall, Randall getting busy. Looks inside. Now put it on the glass, but they got the reset. Steiner's away. See the turnover to Metro again. Hip it to the glass and throw away ball there. Rook trying to push it, got the bump, couldn't hold on. See the country press again. Time they go through the middle. But Rantel, quick hands, active. Two turnovers now, three turnovers if you can't count the last missed shot. Herbert spills it. Steiner on the run. Patelho back to Steiner as he goes to the hole, gets a check, stays with it though, good effort from the young lad. Yeah, I noticed that about him yesterday in the semi-final as well, he's just relentless, doesn't give up, has a lot of second and third efforts on the glass, good to watch. You see Country now in the half-court offence, good deflection there. Steiner, we're on the break, Rochi on the glass. Six two to Metro. So all that pressure from Vic Country hasn't given anything on the scoreboard, really. Yeah, you can tell both teams are obviously a bit nervous, or lack of a better term. They just need to take care of the ball and slow down a bit, and make good decisions. Got a foul there on Steiner. I think that's his first. Steiner with his first. First team foul. We've got a substitution. We see Searle coming on for Tyrrell. Another aggressive player on the glass. Randall probing. It's a back. Straight into the game, Searle. First touch of the ball, gets a basket. Good pressure again from Country. Rochi has a look from deep, misses everything. That's exactly what Big Country want, disrupt them, get Big Metro out of their rhythm, force them into a shot they probably don't want to take. Herbert with the long bomb, can't make it. Pepper with the Pepper rebound. rebound. Six to peace. Four and a half to play. Rob's calling inside. I think he wants the ball inside. Working off an on ball. Couldn't do it. Disrupted again. That'll be Steiner's second. You'll probably find he'll go out of the game here. 
two quick fouls. Finest first personal. Well, they must well, have like called the last one on nine then, so staying in the game of nine, one foul apiece there. Comes the Metro pressure, but Rantel's up to it. Gets the shot off. The back of the iron. Good hustle there from Rook. Took the ball out of the hands of the big fella under the basket. Country with the possession error. Country not that as not as tall as Metro, but they certainly get on the glass hard, don't they? Yeah, I like what the country are trying to do. They move, as I said, they're moving the ball, attacking the paint, um, getting good looks. Oh. Lucky one there for Big Metro. Polis. I wondered whether he called the bank on that particular occasion. And he's down the other end. He picks up the foul. That's his first as well. Three team fouls. Met Metro up 8-6 at this stage and we've got substitutions coming in for country on the shooter. No, there's no shot, so... Flanders coming Rook in. Rook goes out. And Flanders for his first appearance in the game. Flanders has usually been given a good spark to the country in their previous games, so look forward to seeing how he goes here. They're not afraid to go inside, are they, against the big Metro team? We've only seen them launch the 1-3 from Herbert, and he landed that, so... Now Pepper has a crack. There's Flanders you talked about, but he's turned it over. Pepper picks up the foul. That'll be their first. Probably a good foul there for them. On, on the break. Yeah, just stop the break. Even though it might not have been intentional, now they can set up their defense. I like the look of this Vic uh, Country backcourt. Those, those guards are disruptive. They're active, and they stay in the hunt. Steiner there with an air ball. Tabiola's tried to steal it back in, but couldn't do so. Flanders is on the break. Here comes Pepper again. With the runner, can't get it. Gets it down there. Fires it up and over the Absolutely right, Marcus, about Flanders. He's, since he's come into the game, I think he's got three, or two or three deflections and, uh, and, and good on the defensive end. Mm. <laughs> Kevitolo with the drive and gets the end one. Nice lay off the backboard for one. Talapu is out, and we've got uh, Manton coming into the game for his first appearance. He's an aggressive young lad too, hard on the glass. Loves to play defense as well. See Pepper now, turns down the on ball. Inside to Flanders. Wow, that opened up. A little bit too easy there, the Metro defense. Not quite there. Going back to Steiner inside. Nice post move. Right at the rim. Takes it out to a three point lead again. 13 10. Metro up. 2.52 to play in the half. Or the quarter. Let's see what they do here on the screen. Pepper probing. Needs help. Gets it to Herbert. Can't keep it in though. activity on that um, possession by Vic Metro, that's why I think 
and they did a better job disrupting the country there previous so uh, fell asleep on that previous possession. So Vic Metro with major changes as we see now Emmett into the game and for the first time uh, Mellis, the little guard, he's very active with his hands too. Capitello is again to the rim. He's got five points and he hasn't been on the floor. Pepper spills that one out of bounds. Yeah, right idea there. It's just unfortunate. Catching's an underrated skill, as they often say. Hocker Pinty about to check in for uh, country. He comes in for Rantel. He looks a bit spent, spent at the moment. Good defence from the country, boys. They're up and in. And there's the turnover. A lot of pressure on that ball there. Landers to the hole. Fifteen twelve, a minute forty left in the game in the in the quarter. Steindl down low. Great position. Cleaned up by Manton. Takes it back out to a five-point lead. A minute twenty. Dish from Herbert. I beg your pardon, that was from an assist from Pepper. They really look good, big country, when they attack that uh, that keyway and get to the paint. So makes the extra. Take it back to a two-point ball game, 17-15. Country pressure again. Yeah, the country really bothering Metro, um, even on the inbound. Certainly not as clinical as last night where they were getting the ball over half and uh, pretty much scoring within the first eight seconds against the press. The Metro has two seconds to get the ball over halfway. Shot clock is at 18. And there's the eight second ball. The country have uh, suited for that kind of defense with their, with their lineup. Uh, got a lot of quick athletic guards. Really suits them well. Well, this tournament we've seen a lot of disruptive defense, whereas I believe last year's championship there was a lot of zone. So I like that from an Australian style of play. We like to see the up and in defense and getting in disrupting, disturbing, making yeah. it hard. Yeah, I'm sure if, if Andre Lamanis is watching, I'm, um, I'm sure he's happy to see that. Um, it's one of the style of play points and defense that we want to um, improve is disruptive, being disruptive and taking teams out of their offensive rhythm. Well, the the country is definitely doing that. Exactly. Herbert goes to the hole. He ties it up with 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Pepper again with active hands. Herbert picks up the ball, gets a check. Can't make it, but Pepper. Pepper with the putback. It's a foul on Mella, so it's an end one. The crowd love that. Country go up two with 34 to play. Yeah, just great effort plays there. They're well organised. I like the way they structure. They don't panic at the ball. They wait for the dribble and then they attack it. So it's good to see. Pepper couldn't convert on the on the end one. So it's two points the difference. Country back in front now with two. 1970. Got a foul. Ocapinti, that'll be his first. Pepper gets a rest. And uh, number nine, Rook comes back into the ball game. 
Pepu is only on, on the one foul at this stage, so no foul trouble for him, probably just more arrest. Good intent, just couldn't hold on to the ball there. Trying to get to the hole. Turned it over. Which is quite unusual, just Metro of seven turnovers for the quarter. Which is quite high. Coach won't be too happy about that. Flanders to the hole. Man with the heave, but can't make it. Wow. As we expected, Marcus, it's a tight one. And I think country's defense has really started to trouble Metro with the seven turnovers, which is uncharacteristic for the Metro boys. Really being put out of their rhythm. Yeah, it's been great fun to watch. Uh, a couple of things I wrote down for Big Country, like the disruption obviously being really effective, bothering Big Metro, and offensively their ability to penetrate into the key and either score a layup or kick it back out for a three. It's been really effective for them. Uh, Big Metro's been somewhat disruptive by blitzing and on balls, and that's got Big Country uh, stuck at some time, at some uh, possessions and offense. Uh, offensively for them, I think post feeds has been working well. Every time they get it in the, into their bigs, it's been really effective for them. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what Rob and Lucas are emphasizing their timeouts. I don't think we've got cameras and mics down there though. <laughs> I don't think um, so. I don't think we should in some respects. Yeah. Might be some foreign language used. Yeah. It's interesting though, um, Metro is shooting at 57% but of seven less shots than country. So um, if that that's continues... The seven turnovers. Yeah, that's yeah. the seven turnovers. Country with five turnovers, so still not handling it totally well, but uh, I think the difference at the moment is the, uh, the pressure defence. Metro really need to do a better job of getting that ball out of the backboard. So we'll sit back and relax and see what uh, Metro come up with in this quarter. Yeah, why not? Why not shout out to our viewers? I think. 375,000, is that right? Viewers? No, actually, I think it's a lot less than that, but welcome everybody online. I hope you're enjoying the telecast, and we're certainly enjoying giving you the commentary, and although not expert commentary, we are trying our best, aren't we, Marcus? Yeah, definitely trying our best. So as we go into the second quarter, we've got uh, Vic Metro with the ball. Going back to their bigger line up here again. Country back in the zone. Can't hit off the front of the iron. And Graham in the game now picks up the defensive rebound. Again, the country just being disrupted by showing a different type of defense. Penetration. Ooh. Searle would like to have that one back as he threw it away. Yeah, they've dropped back into the half court now, a bit of pressure. They're still playing man. Metro trying to go inside. A lot of pressure there, can't make it again. They can't seem to get anything clean at the moment. It's a bit of a worrying sign. Yeah, just a bit of like a movement um, by the players off the ball. Up there. Randall off the on ball with Flanders. He's been caused for the travel. A bit unlucky there, I think. Caught a foot as he went through. He's extending the defense again, and Flanders. With the active hands, he's had a mighty game so far. Graham to the hole. Sorry, Graham, pardon me. Okapinti with the layup. Capasola again. 
that drive, he's, he's had two now that he's got, or three drives, and both two of the three have resulted in N1, so uh, it's certainly working for him. But I get a sense that Metro is trying to do it a little bit one-on-one, -on -one, not sort of in their pattern of play, which is moving the basketball and finding the open man. So. Capitolo breaks down, brings it back to a one-point ball game, 21-20, with 8.30 left in the quarter. Rook had a crack at that, couldn't make it. Right. Clean up the rebound, re rent. Back inside, oh, point blank range. Couldn't hit for Searle. That's two at the basket he's had and he's just fumbled both. Metro getting a bit of movement now. Back into a little bit of action. Capitolo, they were waiting for him. Rook there at that time, just uh, held his ground, knew he was coming through. He's done it three times before, so he's seen it. Draws the charge. Yeah, the country did a good job packing the, packing the key there. Um, obviously made that penetration difficult. Surprising stat for you, Marcus, while we see the floor wipers out there is uh, country offensive rebounding uh, Metro 2-1 to one. so 6 offensive rebounds to country compared to 3 for Metro which uh, in your keys to the game I thought you said that country had to keep them off the glass and looks like they're doing that and more and putting a Metro on with their performance against the boards Flanders to Searle Peppers back into the ball game they got a lucky call there I think they might have been off Searle or it definitely was off Pepper, I think. But anyway, it goes with the from up here sometimes, isn't it? It is. Uh, the referees, I do want to say for the referees, they've done a fabulous job this week. A bunch of uh, a young up-and-coming referees that have done some sensational uh, game refereeing, handled the players brilliantly and uh, just presented themselves very well. I totally agree, I actually... Uh for our last game today, I spoke to one of the referees and just um, thanked him for doing a great job. And I obviously didn't always agree with some of their calls, but what I did like is that they communicated really well with the players and the coaches. I think that's been a big improvement. Um, yeah, and it's been fun to coach. Well, we've got to remember they're young, young men and women as well, and. Uh just to see them out on the floor controlling high pressure games is uh, a real testament to how they're being coached and, uh, and taught at all levels. So well done to the referees. We see Metro got back on the boards there as Pepper goes to the hole, can't make it. Kicks back. Nice split kick extra there. Rantle with the three, can't make that, but Pepper's on the boards. And Rantle follows up with the layout. That possession was a perfect example of where the defense gets split by dribble penetration. Yep. Uh, which forces rotation, the ball gets kicked out. Now Vic Metro are doing that. And then there's an extra pass to find the open shooter. Um, two good possessions that exemplify that. Capitolo having a crack at a three there, couldn't make it, hit the front of the rim. Flanders, who's been good since he's been on. Rantle, I like the look of this young kid. He's a. Uh, Smart, plays sensibly. Brook having, having a go. A country ball. 23 plays 22 with six minutes left in the half. And so far it's been a tussle. I think we're fine, Marcus. This might go right down to the wire. I can't see either team giving up too easily. Yeah, I hope so. It makes it exciting. Randall again, penetrating hard to the basket. Can't make that one. Rook with the rebound. Rantle again, active hands. Unfortunately, turns it over. Metro on the break. Nice feed. And he's walked. That looked more like the Metro of old, getting the ball up the floor with the kick ahead. Unfortunately, just couldn't get his feet set correctly.
Grant will step back, gets a block from Lost that one a little. Yep. Capitolo going to the hole. There he is again. He's tough. Takes the bump, still converts. Puts Metro back out in front. 24 23. 5 10 left in the half. Herbert penetrating hard to the basket. Throws up Rook with the rebound though and gets fouled. Both teams relying a lot on their dribble penetration right now. That's Steinders second, I believe. Coach is going to leave him in. Thought he might have taken him out with two. Rook to the line. Disruption we, we see after this free throw. Do you think full court or half court? No, I, I think they'll structure a full court that's been successful, so why would you change it now? And here it comes. Good guess, Tom. I like to guess occasionally, Marcus. Sometimes I get it right. Like any coach, you don't always get it right. Yep. There's a foul on Searle, he had his hands over at the top, so... Big Metro doing a better, a better job there, not only breaking the press and getting over halfway, but attacking it straight away and getting it to the ring. And that's, that's the key here, to get that ball moving quickly. As you see Tapitolis is on the right free throw line, misses the first. Another Vic Metro foul. Max Steiner's third foul, I believe. Coach is still leaving him in. No, he's caught it on Steiner's second. I apologise there. Okay, we're not professional commentators, Tom, so... <laughs> Plus, we're reliant on stats coming up quick enough. <laughs> Rantel again with the ball. He tends to organise the, the offence. If he's not doing it, Pepper's doing it or Herbert's doing it. So, here we see Pepper. Brooke likes the look of it. Can't make the three though. Capitolo with the rebound. Rocci starting to take control here. Still the ball's not moving very much, is it, Marcus? Yeah, they try to get it moving a bit there, but. That is his third foul now. And he gets to the bench. Sino was trying to make things happen. Didn't go his way, unfortunately. That's been his game all week, though. He's quite an aggressive young character, and uh, I like the way he tries to get to the rim. Emmett comes on for him. Country with the ball again, and a one point lead with four minutes to play. 2 3 zone here for Metro. Nice pause play, oh. Got the right opportunity, unfortunately didn't. Great tee to of Pinty, but just couldn't put it away. I think he got a bit excited. Didn't realize how open he was. Or maybe he did and got excited about it. Coach takes him out, has a nice quiet word to him on the sideline. I don't think Coach is too worried. He got in good position. Must be uh, awfully daunting for these young lads on the national stage here in the big game of the tournament. I'm sure that while well, it's a bit daunting, it's what they look forward to, it's what they work hard for, train for. Correct. 
We must um, remember only five years ago a young lad by the name of Ben Simmons was playing in this very tournament in this very game. It was, uh, I believe, against your uh, your team, the ACT, we were in that final against Ben Simmons, and uh, Simmons dominated. Well, we all know where Ben Simmons now. He's signed with the Philadelphia 76ers, and uh, looks like he's uh, he's got a great career. Herbert. Again, big country again to the hoop. It'll be Emmett's second foul if that was on Emmett. Herbert to the line. Opens it to three. This is the, the end one. Big country is going after the ball like a rabbit dog. It's good to spot. We've got a timeout for country. Two points up, three minutes to play in the half. No need to panic at this stage, but uh, Metro just need to get back to the game as they play. That ball movement, finding the open man. Country's just putting them out of their rhythm at this stage. Uh, just the defensive hustle, deflection, and getting what up and in. What would your, if you were in Rob's shoes right now, what would you be telling the Big Metro boys? Well, I think I'd change up my press breaker. I think I'd bring one up the middle. So I've got an outlet for that. They're playing a 1 2 2 press breaker, so bring a man up the middle, hit him hard, and then get your runners off that. So I just say to him, you know, three points, the grind. Just stay in the game. We haven't played well, but we're still here at three. That's the, the message I give to Metro. Yeah, agree. Uh, obviously not going to their plan, but they're still in the game. Um, and have an opportunity to come back in the last three minutes of this quarter. Turn the game around. As we saw with the, uh, the North Queensland boys, you know, there was a team that uh, they were down 14... 12, 14 points in most games and uh, in the rounds they only lost the one and uh, they came back in one game one very special game in, in double overtime so you know they just kept hanging around, hanging around and uh, if you can do that you can be there at the end. I think if you let the game get away it's hard to come back at the end but Country did it yesterday <laughs> anything is possible Country with the ball on the baseline Graham's back in the game for country as Herbert triple penetrate. Rochi, great defense. Draws the charge on Herbert. That'll be his first personal. Both teams in the bonus now. It's more like it, a little bit of ball movement. There's no dribble in the backcourt there. So. Nice drive there to the basket. Showed a great commitment. Attacked it hard. He got the reward, drew the charge, uh, drew the foul, and uh, goes to the line for the extra. Samuel makes the, sex, uh, the extra, so we're back at 27 apiece. 2:46 remaining in the half. Metro back in a man-to-man -man now. Graham looking for something. Rook sizes it but takes it to the hole. Just a deflection, they'll get the ball back. With six seconds on the shot clock. What would you run here, Marcus? Run off a shooter with three-point line? Well, Vic Metro, yeah, stay in, man. I wouldn't do Good that. pressure. <laughs> Capitolo got a hit. Picked up by the big man. Happy Olders. He puts Metro back in front by two. It's great to see how the momentum changes in this game. And, um, good sign for both teams. They're disrupting each other. It is. Herbert looking for an on ball. Gets it from Rook. Rochi with great defense. 
Yeah, that's where it's called, though. Randall with a kick ball there. Flamers back in the game. So yeah, can give like him a spark again. He has given him a spark the first time he was out there. Very active with his hands. There's the pressure. Telling again. Rantel. Could have called, been called for a charge there. But Rochi did pretty well to get to the baseline. Great contest between those two guards. No doubt they've played each other a few times in the big V situation, so sure. they know each other's game. Brooke has a look, gives it to Herbert. Good country running that down screen again. Crucial baskets in the last steps. Brought him back into the game. Yeah, the post touches are important for him. I think Big Country tried a Euro foul there, unsuccessful. And Big Metro gets the foul on. <laughs> A little bit of fire in the belly there. <laughs> Emmett with the with the shots here. Herbert picked up his second. Got a lot of ball, but I think he had the hand in the back. Emmett with the free throws. Front end of the first. Metro up four with a minute to play. them both. Big fella with the rebound, can't make it though. He certainly come to play a little harder in this uh, since that timeout. Emmett. Plays it the end. Watch him. Here come Metro. Gave up a two for one opportunity right there. Big Metro will probably hold on to the ball, let the clock run down. Defense! 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 Take the early shot. The country will take the, run the clock down. Grant will slow it up. Once an on ball. Gets it. Launches from half court. Couldn't make it. Wow. 33 27 at the half. Metro with a comeback in that last two minutes since the timeout. Got a lot more aggressive, Marcus, and uh, started to move the ball a little bit more efficiently. The country just couldn't stay with it. So we've got a, uh, a six point ball game. Yeah, I think. We had a bit of a turn of events there after that timeout. It was obviously worked for Rob. And uh, Big Country just seemed to be over dribbling it a little bit. And Big Metro were able to get a, quite a few deflections and steals it and uh, punish Big Country with some fast break scores there. Yeah, well. All get to the foul line. Exactly. And they're attacking the basket like they normally do and they're getting the end one. So at the half, we've got. Uh, Metro 33, Country 27, top scorers so far is Capitolo with 8 and Tapiolos, I hope I'm pronouncing that right Marcus, is with 11 are the top scorers for Metro, uh, sorry my, my mistake, Tapiolos with, with 8 and Capitolo with 10 are the top scorers for Metro and for Country we have uh, Young Herbert with 8 and uh, the rest spread around uh, Pepper, Rook and Flanders. So. Uh, all round, the, the scoring for the big country has been quite consistently across the board, whereas I think the big man of um, Metro is starting to come to the fore. So we'll be back here in about uh, eight minutes from now.
uh, with commentary and I hope you enjoy it. Get yourself a cup of tea and uh, coffee or a stiff drink if you happen to be a fan of either one of these teams. Uh, we're in for an exciting second half. See you soon.
Ой. Welcome back, folks, as we get into the second half. And uh, what do you think so far, Marcus? Yeah, it's been a really exciting game. Been momentum swings go both ways. The country started aggressively, defensively, and really disrupted Big Metro, got them out of their rhythm. Then Big Metro came back and got some deflections and seals and um, some aggressive points at the rim. And the game's pretty even. Difference yeah. of six points, so we're excited to see what happens in the second half. Well, Metro forced a few uh, extra turnovers from country in that quarter, so that's, that was pretty much the difference. As we said, uh, turnovers were hurting Metro in the first quarter. Well, uh, uh, turnover count now is 15 to 14 to big country, so uh, it was completely opposite in the first quarter. They're clearly too high for both teams. Uh, it might be the defining stat at the end of the game. Who can hold on to the ball? Correct. Here we go. It's the nature of the game, isn't it, Marcus? Who can put that round thing in that round hole? So, yeah, it's uh, not that complicated. <laughs> we see Country now. On the move with Herbert. Nice oh, pass nice to pass. Pepper. Beautiful flip the screen. They have a very good understanding, those two, as they break it down to a four-point game. Rochi now. movement, they get the ball into the post easily. Oh. Left hand finish would have been nice there. The tap Tapper Totolis is uh, going inside but just couldn't make that one. So, right move for... There's another great pass. This time, Tipper to Herbert, the opposite. Those two are really working well together and they've been doing that all week. Rochi probing out the back. Defense! 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 Off, off the window, couldn't get it. Rook with the rebound. Oh. Manton caught one right in the melon there. Right in the melon, he's not well. He's not very well at all. I don't think it was intentional, Marcus, but it certainly hurts when you get it in the chops. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. The man will come out, the Mellis will come in. Trying to keep the pressure on here, I think, with the guard spot. Just shows how physical the game can get under the, under the ring. We keep teaching our guys internationally that it's very physical there, you can use any part of your body as long as you keep your hands out to be disruptive and gain possession of the ball. The big guy's gone inside again. Tapatolis picking up another two points. Herbert looking to drive against the tall timbers, couldn't do it, but Rook pulls in the ball. Rantle puts a hand in it from Mellis. He's active. Mantle with the grab. Big country crowd isn't happy with that ball. <laughs> it's country good atmosphere. Not, not normally those... happy with most balls, anyway. Yeah. For those that are watching, um, it's a great atmosphere here. If you can make it to a Australian Junior Championship final, definitely try to. Second foul here on country. It's on Pepper. Speaking of games coming up, there's two exciting games coming up this week. Yes, yeah, the Boomers, the Aussie Boomers in their final camp before uh, the Rio Olympics are in Melbourne this weekend and uh, they've got their final selections. They play against a, uh, a Pac 12 All Star team on Tuesday and Thursday night at High Sense Arena. I believe it's around 7 o'clock. You can get your tickets, there's still tickets available. So hurry down to Ticketek 
to get your tickets. Uh, you get to see Paddy and Andrew Bogut and all the crew, Matthew Delavadova with his championship ring. And I'm sure he's pretty proud of that, to be in a country uh, or being a, a Victorian boy. Uh, it's pretty special to have uh, now two championship winners, Andrew Bogut last year and uh, Matthew Delavadova, both coming out of this state. So uh, pretty impressive. So get down and see the Boomers, Andre Lamanis and the boys. Uh, we'll be down there getting their final workout. Pepper up the game. Back to a three, uh, two point ball game. Rook. Rook with a foul on Mellis there. Mellis attacking the rim quite hard. Yeah, just a shout out to the Boomer boys and of course the Opals. They got their final selection camp on the on the Gold Coast up there with Brendan Joyce. And uh, we wish them well also in Rio. Um, they've got some exciting times. They get to play at Madison Square Gardens this year. So, uh, so uh, that's going to be pretty special against the US team before the Olympics. Uh, Marcus, it doesn't get much better than playing at Madison Square Gardens. Yeah, I can only assume I've never had, a, had the opportunity to play there. But um, I've walked into the building, so it's pretty impressive. Pepper gets a nice little screen there. Looking for an on-ball handoff, can't get it. Get a foul on Terrell there with an illegal screen. They've been pretty sharp on those all week. They don't like people moving in the end of screen at all. Well, oh, the nice little assist there from Mellis. He's uh, added a bit of spark since he came on. Mellis is certainly driving to the hoop, causing some trouble. Herbert now, very controlled ball handler. Back to his mate Pepper. Pepper gets it back and goes inside. To Rook. Up the head. Back to a four point ball game. Oh. Got away with one there. Nearly a turnover, but they got the job done. Capitolo with a nice assist underneath. A bit like your basketball, Marcus. Those assists. Yes, you weren't much of a shooter from what we hear. Is that correct? Oh, I'm a shooter now. All oh, right. Just, just by us, Brad and, Brad and Adam. We have a turn over there, and here comes uh, Rantel with Brooke. And up and in. <laughs> For a four point game, we've got a cracker here. Mellis drives and pulls it back out. Capitolo controlling things. Attack hard. Loses the handle. He's done some really good things tonight, but occasionally he just over dribbles. As he goes to the bench. And uh Victoria Metro playing up the floor now. Yeah. Flanders is back out there for Vic Country, but he stepped out of court. I think if I was Metro here with uh, Vic Country and four fouls, I'd be attacking the rim at every opportunity you could. Rochi does that. Good fight for the ball down there. That's commitment, Marcus. You like to see that. Yeah, that's what Australian basketball is all about. Being first on the floor, getting the loose ball. Getting on the floor. That's the stuff I'm going to miss. Yep. 
Well, hopefully you'll teach some of those guys over there how to play. Yeah, I'll just be doing loose ball drills the whole time. <laughs> I always thought that was one of your uh, better things, uh, better drills actually, is the loose ball and getting on the floor yourself with the boys at the Centre of Excellence. I know you used to wrestle and teach them how to get their footwork right, so you're going to be doing that sort of stuff over there as well. Yeah, we like to mix it up and show them how it's done. Oh, an air ball there. Metro collapsing back into the into the quarter court here. Bad pass from Herbert. And there's a foul. Rocky will go to the line. Five team fouls to the country. They've got to make sure they keep their hands out and stay disciplined now. Otherwise Metro will go to the line a lot. Especially with uh, just a tick under five minutes to play in the quarter. It's a long stretch to be in the bonus. This is the first. Actually picks up the second. Takes it back out to a five point ball game. There's yeah, no movement on the inbound. No. It's yeah, very no, stationary. Yeah, it's too easy. Ooh. A little bit of uh, fun and games between Ramsey and Rocky there. The crowd's certainly enjoying this. They're getting into it. that Metro are just starting to lift a little. The country's got to match it. Otherwise this game could turn a little ugly very quickly. No coincidence, Pepper's off the floor and a little bit of composure's gone out the door a little bit for the country. So, the be probably Landis. looking for that. Landis off. Not having the appropriate gap, probably not following the scout as well as the shoot. <laughs> nice spin move underneath, gets the left hand layup. Country need to settle here to keep, keep in the game. Sanders draws one back off his own. Rocky with the foul. Man back in the game. A little bit of trouble for Rochi, he's on his fourth now. That um, could mean a little bit of a difference here. There's a bit of a spark out there on the defense again. Poor pass from Randall got into the lane. Well, this gets away. High pass. He's made up for it with the block. Energy, the crowd love it. Got a big engine, this kid. Herbert with the drive. Oh! With authority. Get that out of here. And call for the offensive. Basket. Well, well, well. Great play at one end and just a uh, rush of blood at the other, unfortunately, young man. Yeah, but, uh, well played by the effort. country. Taking on that and getting the charge. No one's giving up lightly here. Really good. Country now with Herbert and Pepper both on the bench. Guard combination. Nice little work back back and forth. Searle and Flanders there. Nice little one-two. 
Hanging around, six points to split. Manton tried to three, couldn't do it. Flanders with the drive, gets it to Rook, gets the rebound up, but can't make it. Manton cleans it up. Dodged a bullet there, I think, Metro. Good job by Tolope, just controlling the tempo now, recognising that there are a few positions of really hard place basketball. Manton with the spin move, couldn't make it. The contest. Having a day out, he's on 16 now. Can't seem to contain him down low. Country off the on ball. Searle. Searle and Flanders now, a couple of times they've combined, they seem to have a good understanding where they, each other are. Launches the bomb. Dallas couldn't make it, got a scrap for the rebound and a jump ball. You've got to admire how these kids get on the floor and just get after it, haven't you, Mark? Yeah, their, their effort is relentless, really good to see. I think the key is going to be who can keep their composure and just stay disciplined. Got a couple of hurried shots and... Uh, yeah. Who can stay disciplined under the pressure, I think they'll... No matter right now, the last few minutes of this crowd. Yeah, you've got to remember they're only 15, 14 years of age, these kids, so they're very young and it's, it's, it's a big stage, so it's just great to see what a contest. Rantor with the, with the look. It's an on ball from Searle. Takes it himself, can't deliver. Couldn't quite thread the needle, unfortunately. Yeah, like two foot stop would have helped Randall there, just be able to stop and pivot, and then he would have, could have found a better solution to that situation. How important is that fundamental in the keyway? Yeah, it's a big tension point for us, being able to come to a two foot stop and, and slow yourself down on a lot of these. A lot of these players are so athletic and they're used to getting into the, getting into the rim. And when, they, when they get to this level, they recognise that there's other players in their way. Yeah. And they have to slow themselves down to be able to make good decisions. Pepper back out there. Inside, easy turnaround. Off the pinky with a nice little spin move. Found himself free and open. This time he doesn't miss. First quarter, he got one just as open as that, but uh, threw it hard up against the backboard. Pepper Tolis goes off with 16 points. He's had a monster of a game. He is a handful, isn't he? It'll be interesting to see if uh, the country make an adjustment to him when he comes back on the court. Defense! 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 Seen a lot of that this week where players are really just trying to get off quickly and dragging their pivot foot. There seems to have been a point of emphasis for the referees to make calls, like you said, on moving screens and footwork. Yeah, I know Peter Carey from Basketball Australia is a bit of a, a torrent on that sort of stuff, making sure they pick those simple ones up. Three points. Oh! With the back to a point with one minute to play. What have Metro got here? Steiner coming back in and bullocking his way to the rim. Do doing his thing, attacking the rim hard, on the foul. I reckon he must be an AFL player. He's got that sense about him that he just, once he gets that ball and he gets near the paint, he just grinds it through. Steiner at the line, 47 plays 46 with 47 seconds to play. He's been good from the free throw line this tournament as well, Steiner, so he backs up that inside game with a good free throw shooting percentage. Interesting to 
to see if Big Country is a two for one opportunity here. If they get a quick shot off in time, they can have two possessions to Big, Met Big Metro's one. Pepper with the rebound. Dr. Pindy trying the three again, nothing but air. But Pepper on the baseline picks it up and draws the foul. They get their two possessions now. They, they do. Throw. Just need to get a stop and they get another opportunity to score. Good, good chance of score. Good chance of uh, the game. Takes the first. It's a barn burner. It's a barn burner, Marcus. Looking forward to this last quarter. Wow. There's the pressure again from country. Two points of difference. About a three and a half second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Emmett. Emmett with a spin move. Nice position. The roll. Country don't have long. Need to get it up. Can't do it. So we end the third with Metro holding on to a four point lead, 51 47. How did you see that quarter, Marcus? Uh, country obviously rallying a little bit, but Metro just holding their nerve, getting in close to the basket, making those buckets when they counted. Yeah, like I said before. Uh, Big Metro just a bit calmer, a bit more organised against the pressure from Big Country this, this quarter and did a good job getting the ball inside to their big big man. Uh, big Country obviously getting in foul trouble early hurt them and took away their potentially took away a bit of their defensive intensity. Mate, I'm hoping I'm hoping for double or triple overtime here. I really am. We've had a few of uh, we've had a double overtime in the tournament, we've had a couple of overtimes. We've had shots on the buzzer to take it to overtime. Uh, these kids are excited. You like working overtime? I love it. I love it, Marcus. What else are you going to do? Go back to real work at the office? No this way. is what life is about for a basketballer. Doesn't get much better than this. Big crowd, great atmosphere, and two teams just smashing each other and trying to get it done. And uh, two coaches that are you know, changing the strategy. It's good to see mix-ups in the defense and offensive sets. I find sometimes with coaching, uh, I see a lot of stagnant play and the uh, good thing about these two teams, and in fact the, the top teams in the, you know, played in the quarterfinals, they, they all are moving the ball. In fact, you probably say it to all teams in the comp, they're moving the ball, they're you know, pace, poise, penetration as we say in the first eight seconds of pace, the second eight seconds of poise and that last eight seconds of penetration, certainly living up to the style of play that we expect out of our uh, senior players like the Boomers. Like Paddy and those guys, and uh, to see it done at this level is, is really outstanding. The noise is going to get deafening in here, Vic Marcus. So uh, I think I think a little bit of quietness from us might go might not go astray as we get into the fourth quarter. Who's your money on, Marcus? Who are you going for at this stage? Going Vic Metro by one in overtime. In overtime? Well, I think it's overtime as well. I'll go country by one. So I'm from the country. Are we going to put money on it? Capitolo, yeah, we'll, we'll put a chocolate milkshake on it for you. I like chocolate milk, so that's perfect. Mellis with the steel, he's a zippy little character. Yeah, he's been similar to Flanders for Vic Metro. Gives him a spark, really quick and athletic. Does. Good use of a chest blow the there. Three, two. Up. He's on the fire. <laughs> Coach from Big Country going to the bench and bringing Herbert back in here. He's seen enough, I think. Oh, wait, under that rook underneath. A nice pass from. from uh, Still. 
There he is again, the young man can't do it this time. Flanders cleans up on the boards. Oh, a bit of a three on two. Ooh. Nice little fake, head fake there from Okapinti. Daniel Telepeo with the foul got up and lucky he didn't hurt himself there. Papatoulis is back in, the big man, so they've gone back pretty much near their starting lineup except for um, Rocky. Or Rocky, I should say. I've got to pronounce that properly, otherwise I'll get in trouble here. Hockapindi on the line, that's the first. Misses the second and Steiner cleans up the rebound, so he's on the break. Capitolo, he's been strong. That's 14 points for him, he's having a huge game as well. Lucas won't be happy with that, giving up a layup off a free throw. No, no, not at all. Certainly D Trans wasn't there then. Pindy goes to the bench and Herbert comes back in. Smaller but quicker lineup. Yeah, a little bit more intelligent too, the ball movement. Steiner all alone underneath. Good defense from Searle there. He might have got away with one. Crowd happy. Crowd doesn't agree. There's about two and a half thousand people here and they're all experts, I think, Mark. Mellis with the puck, can't make it. Capitolo with a huge rebound. Steiner trying to bollock, might have walked. Big Country are doing a really good job of staying in front of their man and using the chest blow there, keeping their hands out, using their chest. Make sure Big Country, uh, Big Metro, sorry, can't get in the paint. As Pepper goes to the bench, Rantall in, in for Pepper. And Rook turns it over with a bit of press and defense. Eight points to split. Country need to be holding here, otherwise uh, they might just get a little bit away from them. I need to have a plan for their inbound, but I've had a couple turnovers now where they've struggled to get the ball in. Punch on ball. I don't know. Just got violation, so they're off and running with Flanders. He's Herbert. We must remember that the country we're playing last night, they were down a lot more than this with five minutes to play, so uh, they've done it before. Flanders just about spun out of his shoes there. That reminded me of you in your early days, Marcus. Were you ever that quick? Of course. You never saw me play, though, when I was there. Bit of a shout-out to CJ Bruton back in Brisbane, going back with the Brisbane Bullets to see them in the NBL this year. Huge. He used to do those sort of plays when he was a youngster. Couldn't do them when he got older. He could only shoot the rock from there. But uh, awesome little spin move from Flanders. What about you? Were you a, was the spin move your signature? No, no. I was, I was definitely a defensive specialist, Marcus. Defensive specialist assist man. Brooks buries the two, brings it back to a six point game. And we've got a ball game. They seem to be breaking the, the pressure a bit better now with the kick ahead. Mellis on the ball, Steinder playing high. Oh, nice pass to Steinder. Oh, couldn't hit it though. Took a peek but didn't want, didn't like the look at the bottom of the net there and dropped back out. Flanders being aggressive.
Oh, inside to Herbert. He is strong. The young boy with a very slight frame. He does some tough stuff. Back to a four point game, Marcus. Here comes overtime. Good pack D there. Searle being manhandled. Fight his best. Probably just slacking a few kilos to be able to hold against that. Capitolis again. 18 points. He's just bullocking his way inside. Nice steal there from Capitola. Well, the young man's hurt himself after that layup. Oh, that might be just a bit of cramp. Bit of time out here. Uh, the young man Tapatola's back up after a nice little intercept and uh, took it right to the rack. So, see Rochi coming back on. He's got four fouls, so he's got to be careful. He's opening back up to an eight-point lead, just like that. Back on the floor. The country just need to stay calm here. Searle making his way inside, gets it to Rook, and gets the foul. For a uh, not so big team, they do very good stuff inside the paint, don't they? Yeah, well, they, they do a great job getting inside the paint, and the decision making in the paint's been pretty good. I've been yeah. impressed with the, uh, the kick out passes, but also the little pocket passes or lob passes they've uh, made to their teammates. Rook dirty with himself and missing that one. You've never missed a free throw, have you, Marcus? I know that you practice them a lot. You keep referring to my game a lot. <laughs> well, we've heard you're a bit of a star. That's what the word on the street is from the boys from the Centre of Excellence. I'm, I'm glad my reputation is, is that good as a player. <laughs> Steiner again. A little up and under with the left hand. Got all the tricks. Taking it to nine now. Nice back cut from Herbert. Open. Pepper with the steal. On the ground again. Wins the possession. And then 40 seconds of momentum spent again. The country coming back. you got to love that hustle with these young boys. It's just amazing how they get after it. That's a special thing about Australian basketball. I hope I don't sound too cheesy saying about saying it all the time, but it's great to see the effort and intensity these guys compete with. Um, I think that's what sets us apart internationally as well. Yeah, it certainly does. Well, Pepper's gone back to the bench, so he, he must be feeling the strain at the moment. Either that, or the coach is trying to hold on to him for the end. Can't hold on too long. No. Only with 4:40 to play. Searle turns it out. Can't make it. The Metro on the break. Rochi. Oh! That's a tough one. That was, that was tough. Reminds me of Sam Bruggan and his shooting. Floats them up from everywhere and claims it as being uh, meant on purpose. The boys are on the ground again, folks. Now we've got a foul on the play. As I watch the floor wiper, I just want to recognise the work that all the volunteers and Killside Basketball have done for this tournament. It's been um, great fun for me coaching at it. How have you found it watching it from the sideline? Oh, it's been an amazing event. We couldn't ask for a better venue. The staff here, Mark and his staff are brilliant. And shout out to Mel Allison. Uh, you know, 
his, his work and the, the club here is just a fantastic club and uh, we've got a great venue and uh, great facilities. So, uh, and those little floor wipers, Marcus, remind me a lot of you getting on the, on the ground, cleaning up everything that's on the ground. So uh, they've been fantastic. Searl again. Uh, sorry, not Searl, it was uh, Steiner again. Country just can't seem to bridge the gap here at the moment. Couple of errors creeping in. Mantle just forcing it a bit much, too much there again. What do you do in this situation, Marcus? Your team's behind. You've, well, got, you've got things to do and you've only got 3.50 to play. In big, if I was in big country's shoes, then obviously you need to increase the amount of possessions and the amount of time they've got left to try and get back into it. So playing full court, um, forcing Vic Metro into rough shots. Nice ball reversal from Metro there. And Vic Metro need to do what they're doing, just hold on to the ball, move it around, use the clock. Tappet's told us with his fourth foul. So he's going to go to the bench. We've got a timeout for country. Second timeout. I think he's only got one left for now. I believe so, yeah. I think he has to take it now, though. With the big man going out of the game, he can restructure here and, and really attack the rim a little bit more, I think. The, the shot block is not there. Metro might come out with a different defense here just to mix it up a little bit. You might see a little bit of zone. Yeah, usually at a timeout to see something different, just so that the team that has possession of the ball can't just run a set that they've just thrown up. Drawn up. It really is a, a game of strategy, isn't it? One move, you move, I'll counter, you move, I'll counter that. And it, uh, it, it's, it's just to and fro on what you throw out each coach. That's what makes it interesting. How good is this atmosphere here, Mark? It's with 3.33 to play. Nine points the difference. Sorry, 11 points the difference. I didn't even see the last pass from Steiner. So 11 points to split. Can Country do it? Well, if we both want to get our chocolate milk, we need the uh, overtime. So <laughs> let's hope they come back. I hear Basketball Australia are paying the chocolate milk if it doesn't go to overtime, is that right? Risky play there by Pepper. Doesn't pay off. So he came out in the trap. Put the pressure on. Not a bad ploy from Metro there. Rochi with the up. Can't do the float up, but gets it back into court. Herbert cleans up. Pepper's away on the break. Going coast to coast, gets it to Rook. Woo! Get that out of here. How do you like that for a play, Marcus? That's a game winner from Capitolo. Block at one end, gets the steal, and then creates the break down the other end. Yeah, very impressive. Adam Capehorn would be happy with that. That might have been a flop. The question is, how is Vic Country going to respond these last two and a half minutes? Metro have put the hammer down, haven't they? Flanders coming back in the game, can't get him in. Steinder with the ball now to Copatello. Good day from Rook. There's Herbert against the big man, Wonder runs around him straight away. Beautiful backhand layup. Herbert with a bit of spark. They're not they done need, yet. They need a lot of those. Good job hanging on to the ball there. Well, we've seen that move before and they cut it off early. Here goes Pepper again. 
Off to Rent. Oh. Rental with the layup. And it's a nine point game. Anything can happen still. They just keep coming, this countryside. Oh, that, there's a turnover. No, it must have got a touch. Capitello, can't make it. That would have hurt. 120 that left. That would have been in. They get a good bucket here. Pepper gets the foul. They'll probably go to the line anyway, because that's the bonus. We've got somebody down in the corner. We can't quite see it here, but... Capitolo again. He's, he's put his body on the line today. 16 points. Six rebounds. Three steals. And one block shot. One momentous block shot. One big one. Looks like he was cramping up a little. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Just shows you how physi uh, physically challenging not just the one game is, but the whole week. Playing one game each day that intensity, you know, it puts a toll on your body and shows you why you have to be really prepared, not only in terms of basketball skills, but physically. Pepper misses the first, they needed that. Picks up the second, an eight point ball game. Here go that trap again. Starting to foul now, they have to get the foul count up. You've got one more to get to the bonus, so you have probably see them foul here early, wouldn't you, Marcus? Yeah, you think so, you want them to slow the clock, obviously, and have as much time as they can. Herbert in for Flanders now. They can't afford to let the clock run. They're going to have to create foul, yep, and there goes Searle. Puts them in the bonus now, so the next one's going to be from the line. Yeah. It's a catch up. Interesting game. that they didn't find trap there. They could have potentially at least tried to force a turnover. You see the country coach now swapping out Herbert with Flanders. Flanders, obviously a defensive specialist, and gets up and in. So we'll see how that goes for him here. With one minute to play, eight points to split. Capitolo's back on the floor, he keeps coming back. He, he's amazing, he seems to cramp up and then he's back again in 30 seconds. So there must be some magic water on the, on the bench. Or a very good physio. I know, as a competitor, you want to be in the big games. You don't want to be sitting on the bench. So uh, here he is at the free throw line. This is the first. Missed both of them, but Stein has oh, picked Stein up the rebound. the rebound. That's a game winner. And Rook has to foul. Steiner, a 68% free throw shooter, so... Yeah, there's a little bit of doubt there. You never know, he could come... Uh, we could see this swing back to country. There is the first. You make a liar of me now, Marcus, and he'll put both of them in. You watch. Well, if he doesn't, they need to make sure they get the rebound on this one. There he goes, solid from the line today. Makes it when it matters. Well, he's perfect from the line, four or four today. Done yet? It comes country. Oh, and Pepper with the steal. Oh, plays it up and in. Five points, just like that. Woohoo! Great example of why you can never give up. Come on, 
first maybe NCAA tournament this year where uh, was it Texas Tech or uh, one of those came back from 11 down with 43 seconds to go. Those very plays, Pepper with the steal and up and in. Metro will get the ball in the front court though here, so five points difference, 48 seconds, we've got a ball game. One more three from country will make it interesting, Marcus. Yeah, that will make it very interesting. We Metro obviously have to get the ball inbound safely here, and then probably try and use the clock as much as they can, get a good shot. Big country can get the ball, Early in the shot clock, they've got a great two for one opportunity again. And then it's definitely a close overtime game. It is. Well, we're after. It is. Now, if they've done their scout properly, Tapalupo is the man that they'll go for for fouling. He's only shooting 43% from the free throw line this tournament, so if they've done their homework, they should be going after him early. There he is, you've got to grab him early if you want to foul, but they're not going to. They're going to run out the clock. They gamble. Not a bad play. I probably would have done a little bit earlier. Let's see what he's like from the free throw line today. Well, he's 67% today so far, so um, he's above average. First, I should have been a coach, Marcus, knowing all these sort of stats. Thank you. He's missed them both. I missed them both. Oh, good. They missed the rebound. Deal. Out of bounds. Oh, very lucky for Big Country there not to not to give up the offensive rebound. Country still have two timeouts. Is it one time out? I think it's one. Pepper. Pepper probing. Gets oh, it to Rook. Three. Looks dribbles look, off. Look pretty good. And there's the foul. That would have been the one they needed. Yeah, well Capitolo is only two from four. He's a 68% free throw shooter, so it's not over yet. Another good example of this game has shown lots of great teaching moments for all that are watching, for all those juniors that are watching. At the moment, it's showing how important free throws are. Uh, correct. Capitolo to the line. And he's missed it. There's the pressure. Let's see if they can get the rebound this time. Do you think they'll play the hacker shack play for the last 23 seconds? Missed them both. Pepper nearly put that back in himself. Pulls down the rebounds. Rantoul for high life three. Can't do it. Capitolo again. They need to get him. Second best. Steiner goes for hole. That might just be it. They really needed to foul early there and couldn't get it. The two players that both missed free throws were right there with the ball in hand, so they had their chances. I've seen strange things happen in basketball, but seven points is a lot in 12 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come back from here. Wasn't it Reggie Miller with nine points in four seconds or something at Madison Square Garden to win a game in the NBA at one stage? So, still possible. Everything's possible. Do you think they're going for a quick two or a quick three? Whatever they can get. Correct. You run your best uh, shooter off screens here to get him open. Marcus, or what do, what do you look for? Yeah, depending on who you want the ball to get to, I'd be trying some kind of diversion first and get the shooter screening or doing some kind of action and then, then try and get him open. 
Well, Okapinti is their best uh, three-point shooter, but he's not on the floor. So Herbert's going to have a look at it. Can't do it. Rantle launches. Pepper got with the rebound. Got it to the right guy. Can't make it. That Time's might do run it. Out. Time's going to run out. Landers with the foul on Steiner, but I think a moot point now. I think uh, Metro are home. 1.3 seconds to remaining. Been an excellent fight from country, but not quite good enough on the day. Unfortunately, Metro steadied and got that lead just on half time and uh, never looked back. Steiner to the line. Yeah, just looking over at the overall stats here. 32 turnovers for Big Country to, um, to 25 for Big Metro. Probably one of the key stats. Rebounding 37 to 31. That's the end of the game, Marcus and Metro. Are the victors for 2016. A brave fight from Big Country. We run down the board. Capitolo from Metro with 16 points. Also, Steinder ended up with 16 points. Capitolis with a big 18. And uh, as you said, turnovers were the difference. Metro with 25. Big Country with 32. For Country, Herbert with 16 points was good. Pepper, I thought, was outstanding at 10. And, uh, and Rook with 13. The rest of the points distributed evenly. But in the end, the power of Metro held steady. And what a great game of basketball it was. What's your final thoughts on that, Mark? Yeah. Like you said, a great game. Lots of uh, elements of the style of play that reflect Australian basketball. Disruptive, aggressive defense. Moving and sharing the ball on offense. Um, great fun to watch. And I'm sure congratulations to Vic Metro for the win. Oh, they missed out last year against Queensland. And, uh, I'm sure they're glad to have this one in the bag now. Yeah, well, they've been the team all tournament, haven't they? Undefeated, so uh, congratulations. But let's not uh, put down on the, uh, the thick country kids. They've, uh, they've had an outstanding tournament to get to this game itself. When during the tournament it looked like they were going to sort of even miss out on the quarters at one stage. So well done to them. They're fighters. They're, they'll come back. And uh, I'd like to see all of these kids when they're 18. And, uh, we look forward to that, that challenge. Yeah, in April next year on 18s, we'll see some of these players for sure. Uh, big country's efforts were fantastic. Great fun to watch. And um, yeah, we saw some good basketball all week today. We did, and uh, congratulations to Vic Metro, champions for under 16 women and under 16 men. And thanks to Marcus Klusman and Marcus from all the viewers here in Australia and our basketball community. All the best in your new jet venture. When do you head off? Uh, end of August, I'm out of the country. Excellent. Well, uh, hopefully we'll have a bed to stay over there when we come over to visit. So uh, we'll be watching intently to see how they progress. Well, all the best. Thanks, thanks a lot, Tom. And yeah, anyone that's uh, over in Europe, just let me know. And I'm happy to have them over. You heard it, Australia. You can get over to Marcus's. I'll send out a tweet out his contact details so everybody has those and uh, get in touch because it's a good uh, cheap holiday if you're going over to see Marcus. So thanks very much viewers. I hope you've enjoyed the telecast and uh, as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And don't forget the Boomers this week at High Sense Arena on Tuesday and Thursday evening playing the, the Pac-12 All-Star team and you can get your tickets at Ticketek. And all the best to the selections for the Boomers and the Opals going into the Rio Olympics this year. And uh, of course a shout out to the Rollers They'll be playing at High Sense Arena as well uh, this this Tuesday and Thursday in an exhibition game against the uh, the NWBL All Stars and Benny Etridge and the boys. Uh, I know you're ready for a, a great tournament in Rio later on in the year. So it's goodbye from Marcus and it's good night from me. And I hope you enjoyed the telecast.